Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala ali wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habit fi Allah assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh hayyaka Allah asallallahu karim rabbal arshil azim in yatawallana fi dunya wal akhirah we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects us preserves us forgives us guides us blesses us with ikhlas with the bad Allah sunnah to nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala bless the muslimin in general fi kulli makan habit fi Allah May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all and bless us to be sources of guidance, not sources of misguidance. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide our brothers and sisters from the Takfiris, from the Ashiris, from the Sufis, from the Maturidiyya, and other innovative sects that have deviated from the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, even though they reject the fact that they have deviated and will not admit it. May Allah guide us in them, forgive us and in them. Ahabatifillah, I thought it would be good to have a very brief, brief introduction to the creed of the Salaf al-Saleh. Introduction to the creed of the Salaf al-Saleh. And we're going to do this in a series of just very short videos. And it's a summary of the creed of a Salaf al-Saleh. It is a summary of the creed of the first three generations, meaning the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala ajma'in, the Tabi'in, their followers, with Ba'a Tabi'in, and their followers radiallahu ta'ala ajma'in. So we begin by looking at, when we look at the Salaf of this Ummah, we mention this Jama'ah, Ahlus Sunnati Wal Jama'ah. They distinguish themselves from other sects and groups. Because as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, that each group, they declare and believe that they're on the truth. Kullu hizbi maladayhim farihun. Every group rejoices with what they have. So, each group calls to its own methodology, its minhaj, and understanding, and endorses itself as the right group. Everybody says they're from Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah. The matter has reached the level that people are uncertain about what they should believe, and they are in a state of confusion. They do not know who they should follow and who to take guidance from. We are not asserting that the correct Islam has become entirely lost. But rather, because the Messenger وسلم, said, There won't cease to be a group uh, from my Ummah who is on the truth. So the Prophet وسلم, said, There will always be a group from my Ummah who will be on the truth. And they will be the ones that will prevail. They will not be harmed by those who abandon them and those who oppose them until the command of Allah. Uh, as established, meaning the hour is upon us. Therefore, we're required to, to know who is, this sal who is the Salaf? Why do people keep calling themselves Salafi? Why do they keep adhering or why do they keep claiming that they adhere to such a pristine madhab? And what is that pristine madhab? It's the minhaj of the Salaf al Saleh. Ridwan Allahi alayhim. So the minhaj of the Salaf al Habitifillah, the as the Prophet ﷺ said, this group, they represent Islam that the Messenger of Allah ﷺ came with and that was present in the generation of the companions their successors and then their successors. So that's those three that comprise the Salaf al-Sali, the pious predecessors. May Allah bless us to be from amongst them. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. They are the saved sect of Firqat al -Najia. Okay? So as a their aqidah, their methodology is a saved path. And those from the Salaf are a saved people, a taifat mansura, and those who adhere to that. Now, if you claim as an individual to be following that way in that minhaj, that does not necessitate that you are from them. And even if you are following much in their aqidah and creed, but you do major sins, that does not save you from the hellfire because as individuals, we will be weighed upon how we match up to that minhaj, the minhaj of the Salaf, the methodology of the Salaf as Salih, Ridwan Allahi alayhim. And so first and foremost, we have to understand creed. What is the meaning of Aqidah, creed? So as a linguistic term, creed, it means like a contract or making a strong covenant and tying strongly and tightly. You know, it's something that you tie strongly and tightly, like an akht. And that's where the word aqidah comes from. So in Islamic terminology, as an Islamic term, not just an Arabic term, 
As an Islamic term, <clears throat> aqidah means firm faith that is not prone to any types of doubt for those who have it. So it's with certainty that you cling to that creed. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya wa muhammad until our next sitting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.